Hey, it's Mark, Auto PM Tesla Aftermarket Accessories, Model S, Model X, Model 3, and Model Y owners. We have our new Generation 2 dry molded carbon fiber seat backs. Now this is Gen 2 because this is real dry molded and we now have the OEM clips that bite and hold on to the metal spikes that stick out of the back of the seat. Okay, now here is our upgrade replacement seat. It does reduce the weight by about three pounds, four pounds. And also now we want to explain what generation two means. So up till now, we've sold hundreds and hundreds of these and they've never had these locking side panel or lumbar support class. This is the original seat. So when we remove these, as we're doing it, you'll see we're gonna pull these away and it just holds this side on real tight. Well, now our newest improvement is now with generation two, we have the same side panels. So you'll notice everything is the same. We've got the clips that slide in or the hooks at the bottom. We have the headrest posts and now the side panel clips. And again, this is a replacement seat back. You're gonna have these to take out of the car when you're done and um, you won't need them. Uh, or you can just keep them in case you ever sell the car. So anyway, this is the original seat back for the Model S, Model X, also for the 3 and the Ys, the newer vehicles. And now we're going to get into the installation. We're going to show you everything that's included in the kit because we've made it very, very simple. Everything is here. So let's get started and then we'll get into removing the original ones and opening everything up. Okay, now what we're giving you here is uh, two pieces of Velcro, or a soft foam, I should say. This will stop the seat belt in your car from making noise. We'll explain that later. But we're also giving you two of these super hard picks. Now these real hard ABS plastic picks are going to be used once we lift the headrest up to just isolate and release the locking clasp so we can lift the original seats out and put these back in. So these are gonna be great tools to use We'll get to all that. Now we're gonna get in the car and start taking it out. So let's come over to the X here. And you notice that this is what we're gonna remove from the driver's front seat and the passenger's front seat. And again, the bottom class have to be removed. So we'll show you what to do underneath the back seat. And you'll notice that we've got these straps here that run all the way right here, elastic straps that run all the way up here. You just unhook them just like that. So you want to move your seat all the way up and then you want to raise it up real high. And then now we've got this hanging down and we're going to replace the seat back. Okay, the next step is we're going to lower the seat all the way down and we're going to tilt it back. So what we're going to do now is we're going to release the headrest mounts that run up and down here and then we're gonna show you how it comes off super easy. So let's get into that next. Okay, now this is the only step that takes a little bit of pressure and time, and if you have a friend, it helps to help lift the headrest up. So when these seats are assembled, the last thing that goes in is the headrest. So what we're gonna do is show you how to pry between the headrest and the seat to get air access to where we're going to release it. So you could use a little pry tool to get you started. That'll make it easier. So we're gonna shoot straight in here, right over my shoulder. And now we're gonna lift this up. So don't worry, this is all metal wires. Everything is flexible and bendable. And we're looking for this right here. Notice that little metal clip in there? That little piece right there. We're gonna take one of these two tools and we're just gonna get that loose and pry it up a little bit and leave this inserted. So here we go again. I've got the little clip here. I'm pushing it just to the side enough. And then you're gonna shove it straight through the hole. So just like that, I'm gonna leave that like that. So now what we've done is we've relieved the first clip. Now we have one more on this side. So why don't we pause and go on the other? Okay, now for the right side, it being set. Now for the left side, we're gonna do the same thing. Just lift it up, pry this piece open. 
And again, don't worry, this is a wire frame. You can flex it up and down. This is just how the dealer would install it or change it. And you're gonna need some light to see in here. So now, way over here, I can see the same thing. The aluminum pin, you can put it right in front of me, it's okay. A little higher up like this. I guess you better come on this side. This side of the car. And we'll try to get a really good angle on this so everybody knows what we're looking for. I'll keep my head out of the way of the light. But there is the aluminum piece right inside. So now I'm going to come over here. And again, I'm just trying to get this little pick in there to push it slightly to the side. And now I have it. Now watch this. The headrest comes right out. Okay? So now, before you remove the headrest, pull the pins, the plastic pins out. You got good video? Pull these out and make sure they're still inside. You don't want to remove these clips. They're very hard to get in the way they lock in. But if I push this headrest down right now, it's going to lock right in. So anyway, we're going to tilt the seat back some more. Remove the headrest. There we go. And now the headrest is out. Now, we'll put it right back in when we put the carbon fiber seat back on. And now, we're ready to remove the seat back. So, what we have is we have two pins in here that lock. So, we will put your hands behind it and put it down. So, these two lock on here. So, it's just like this. So, we'll pull down, pull out. And now, you'll notice that we have the hooks at the bottom and the metal plates on the side. So see the metal plates right down there? These are the metal hooks that we're gonna use right here with our Gen 2. So it's pretty simple. Let's just take it out. So this just comes straight out. So now you've removed your seat back, again, with no tools other than what we give you. These hooks hold it at the bottom these keep the side panels firm. So now let's just move right into the carbon fiber installation. You just hand me that, Rob, we'll put it right in. Okay, so again, dry molded, beautiful carbon fiber, glossy or matte finish. And now the seat, <clears throat> I have lots of room. So the first thing you wanna do is we're gonna put the hooks at the bottom. We're gonna put them in place. And you'll notice as soon as you rest them in here, there is room to move it back and forth. So we put the hooks right in and they're going straight in. Now we have to get the carbon fiber panel over here. So make sure you use the two times zoom. So we gotta get this metal plate over there on the other side. So this is the alignment. That plate is gonna go into this latch and this plate into this latch. Then we just raise it up Okay, so here we go, lining all these up. We'll try to have the camera right in here, get real close. Maybe put on the wide mode. You can get it like right inside almost. And then we'll hold it up above. Okay, so again, step one is putting the hooks in the bottom. So see how the hooks fit right in that slot? Just like that. So once the hooks are started, take the two sides and press it apart a little bit. And make sure on this side, way over here, that you're not behind, but you're on the side of it. You'll see this right there. There's the metal hook. Now let's go to the right side. Same thing, the metal latch is right there. So that's gonna line up. And then check the hooks one more time. And then you just push the whole base up. So now I go to number one. Now the base is on. You'll feel the locking pieces grab at the bottom. So a little bit of force here. So I got the hooks in and the two locks in. It's fitting great. Now, everything is firm. Check the sides, make sure everything is tight. Make sure the hook is in. Make sure that the metal clasp is in because it will really grab and you'll know you're fitting perfect. Okay, now we're gonna tilt the seat back and this will be the easiest part putting the original headrest in. So now we have to be gentle and careful when we do this. So right now the headrest <clears throat> has the two clips here. 
the two clips here. I think this is good. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide the headrest down slowly. So what the headrest is doing is it's gonna be going through the plastic pieces that are right about here. We call these the alignment inside tabs. And as you go down, just go nice and slow. If you go slow, you know you're lined up and then you just push the headrest down and you'll see the seat back actually grab and it pinches it right up to it. And now the pins are locked. And look at that, it's perfect. It's all in, it's set. You can pull up on the headrest, they won't come loose. And look at the tight fitment, look at the side angle, look at all the way down here. Look at how great it fits. And the last thing is the seat belt. So a lot of people, um, you might notice or hear your seat belt hitting this, but it also depends on where the seat is, the position of the seat. It depends on um, if you have your seat all the way up, you won't notice it at all. So let me adjust the seat. Just stay there for a second. And look at how good that fits. You see at the base here, no rubbing, no contact. And it's really held in super tight on the sides. So again, we put the headrest back through this, these posts. It went straight down in, locked in. And the last thing to give you is again, if you happen to have your seat tilted back far and you're driving around, you, know, you don't want to hear your seat belt maybe hitting it or scratching it or damage it. So we give you these nice pieces of foam, which you can put right on the buckle like this so it'll keep it so that the seatbelt goes like this so you can put this just like this or maybe right on here whatever you like but normally we put them just like this so they don't bang around a lot uh, again just peel and stick and then let's go do the driver's side again we like to show everybody in real time how long the installations take so you honestly know uh, how long it'll take and we do the whole installation and the removal. And again, now your seatbelt will still work. No problem putting it in the clasp. And we've got a little bit of resistance here of it rubbing and banging and touching. Okay, so now we're gonna go over to the other side. Okay, driver's side, I just removed the two clasps underneath. And now we're gonna tackle the uh, headrest which again is the only time you're really prying your fingers or pushing down a lot. So get it way back, get comfortable, have a light in here to see. And again, as soon as you spot that little hook or a U-shaped clip, we're going right through the middle and moving it to the side. So, all right, so I'm gonna get a little head start here. Okay, now we're gonna get our fingers underneath the headrest and push up now don't be afraid it's okay it's a wire frame running through here and then i'm looking for the clip i have the light on i can see the clip if you come over here you can see it right there and stick the stick through it and we're good on the right side It's very hard to see because this clip is over here. So I'm going to peek at it just like this. And once I spot it, I'm going to put my little spear underneath the front of the lip. It's just so hard to see. So you will need help to do this part. You can hear it. There it is, and there's the clip. Okay, poke that through, just like that. Now the headrest is released. Okay, so now very carefully, the clip over here, here's a nice close-up. Here, just hold that right there. Now make sure when you pull the stick out, the clip does not pop out. This has to be in here, this retaining clip. Same thing on this side, pull it out, and now the headrest will come out. So it's definitely a challenge, but it can be done. 
And again, you hear the sound of these clips. So let's take a look in here. You wanna make sure these are locked in place. So this is a retaining clip here, and this is one here. And when you look down inside, you'll see what the actual headrests lock into. So it is a headrest lock, and it's very important. You don't want them to come off. All right, so now the seat back here, in this case, um, wasn't really locked in, so it came down really easy from the top, just like that. And now the side pieces, they let go right away, and then the hooks. Okay, so now we're gonna get the second one. We're gonna unwrap it and just put these away and save them. Okay, again, this is a 2021. So this seat back, or this seat was made in September the assembly, 2020, and this was put into a 20 and 21. All right, so we'll switch. And again, remember the hooks at the bottom are the first things to go in. So I'm going like this with my thumbs a little wide. Make sure the hooks are gonna go in, just like this, on each side. And at the same time, making sure I'm clear on both sides. So see how I had to readjust that? And now the hooks are going in. So the hooks are definitely in the hole. If you can see down inside. The side pieces are lined up with both metal pieces. And then now we're just gonna put some pressure on it and move them around a little bit and pop the bottoms in. So the bottoms really start grabbing like this and like this. So they're really biting in there nice. Okay, now we'll tilt the seats back. All right, so again, you don't wanna jam this thing down fast. You wanna take your time. And again, you could take time now to bend the wire back a little bit here, smooth out the plastic, and then let's start. So slowly insert it, and you'll see the locking pins are here. So once it goes through that down below, then it locks at the very top on the wire. So you want to provide it nice and slow and allow the seat to move as it self aligns through the tubes. Okay. And now at this point, we're going to go all the way down. Lock, lock, click, click. Got to hear two clicks. <clears throat> if it's great, if it's perfect, Super tight. And now, both of the seats are installed. As good as new, and all this little bending thing, but look at how nice it fits and how snug it fits right at the bottom. Like a glove. Okay. That's it. Everything is installed. Thanks for watching.